whom I recommend and whom I would not recommend uh, power meter. That's the main theme of this um, episode because this is um, also the sum up of the 12 months around 12 months testing of these Ashima Favero power meter pedals which have been great. So I won't have a lot of things to tell you because uh, the review is already there. It's in the description. The link is there. Uh, I won't add anything else. Super easy to install. Just take it out of the box, thread it into the crankset. That's it. You can calibrate those uh, from your smartphone, from your back computer, from uh, the Zwift platform, uh, the trainer road platform or using the app which uh, has been released now in, in um, uh, August. So I'm going to show you the app in a second. Otherwise, no problems. Waterproof, moisture proof, kind of bulletproof. I was using these for, um, for mountain biking too when I was just checking my, my power. I don't have power meter on my uh, mountain bikes. And that's it. You can easily swap the pedals between different bikes. Awesome thing. Light. Now the sensor on each pedal weighs around 16 grams, not 60, 16 grams, so super light. Uh, this is very good product. I can 100% tell you this is a very good product. Remember, I got these for free from Favero, uh, but I, I will just repeat it. This is a great product, very well made and well thought out, uh, ready to be used for lots of lots of miles of training. So uh, that's it. Now let's uh, look at the app and then I will tell you who should have power meter and who should not even think about spending the money for the power meter, all right? So here you can see my app, it's Ashioma. First off, I'm going to wake up the pedals simply by spin spinning the crank. I can see uh, the lights, the, the, the LED lights uh, blinking and now let's go for the Ashioma. Uh, in order to find the pedals, uh, we need to tap right there on search uh, and your GPS and the Bluetooth should be on. Funny thing, uh, I've never ca came, came across, um, come across this problem before, but now when I'm just recording this for you, I can only see one pedal like ANT plus ID and then I have to tap connect in order to see left and right. I don't know why is it so. I'm pretty sure before I would see uh, left and right right away, but then you just tap it and you will see the left pedal comes uh, first and then the right pedal will come just within a couple of seconds. So just for you to know, it's like that. So just tap connect, don't wait for two pedals to uh, appear if, if that's the problem. We can already see firmware update available. We're gonna do that in a second, but now just uh, main features. Let's go for the settings. And here we've got, you can see, this is the Asioma ANT Plus ID, the numbers for both pedals, then the zero offset. Uh, this is just the calibration, so that's, that's very easy. Then uh, you put here the crank arm length uh, if you swap between different bikes. Uh, and then the power scale factor, you can change it, but it says here that it, it, you don't need it because it's, it's been made in the factory. It's calibrated, but uh, in some cases, maybe you would need to do it. I don't know, maybe you have a different crank arm length uh, on, on both sides and, and the bike feeder would tell you to, to change it, but you can. So that's cool. Uh, then compatibility with other apps. It basically means whether you want to send um, the, the power data from uh, through dual channel, so left and right. Uh, pedal or only unified channel from the left pedal. Mm, I'm gonna explain Asioma Uno and Duo in a second to you. And then uh, you can convert between Duo uh, and, and Uno. That means Asioma Uno, that would be measuring the pedal, the, the power from the left pedal, multiplying by two and sending the data. Uh, Asioma Duo, measuring from right and left and multiplying nothing, just adding it together and sending. Uh, and then you can also compare balance and many different factors of how your pedaling uh, looks like. Uh, it's got the gyroscope inside, it does it instantly. It is very powerful uh, measuring tool. It is very powerful measuring tool. I think I'm using like 20% of what it can do. And then the, uh, the static weight test, uh, knowing what weight you're putting on the pedals, you can actually check out how uh, precise the pedals are. I've never done this. 
so uh, let's just cancel this one and then the travel mode if you don't want the pedals uh, to wake up when you travel by plane or even when you just drive uh, by car you can enable this mode I would only use it for long travel traveling so that you save the battery this is cool and then automatic standby you can um, put how many minutes uh, this one should uh, should be uh, awaken if you don't use it so after five minutes it will go into the sleep mode the battery levels uh, we see right here it's a lot and it, I think within those 12 months um, I recharged it three or four times I think it was three times lots of trainings so that's very cool let's see the firmware uh, update now let's just update both downloading the the data done and now we need to uh, update the other one the job is done so that's how it's working it's been working flawlessly for for all these months uh, I didn't have uh, any compatibility issues with any of my computers so that's great now who should not buy power meters by any means the beginner cyclists I know it, it's the thing right like like the disc brakes it's the thing now uh, and I know guys from Favero cheers to you guys are watching also this episode and I'm saying this is a great product but if you're a beginner don't buy this product spend 500 bucks for a training camp or uh, it would be enough maybe for a couple of months with the trainer with a coach that would be awesome if you are shooting for some real performance and you're putting the hours into it then you should think about uh, power meter pedals or just power meter I'm not talking about favor only I'm talking about uh, power meter um, uh, just gener in general this one in uno version will cost you 499 euros so 500 euros or duo 800 euros and pedals are included right so I would definitely uh, put out put out those 800 euros and focus on it uh, who should not focus on the power uh, meter maybe you're not a beginner maybe you've been riding for lots of uh, years uh, and you enjoy it but you don't know how to read power data uh, don't buy power meter because uh, i am quite experienced in this and i as i said i'm using maybe 20 percent of what this device can do so uh, you would for sure you would start with measuring your FTP that's the easiest thing because uh, you know what's your average power for 20 minutes you take 95% uh, of that and you have your FTP and so but for example this year from May till June or from June till July my FTP dropped by a couple of watts I think it was seven or eight watts and I got better better on the cross-country tracks because I measured uh, on the field test different loops and I was just better much better so how to read the data it's not that easy if you want to learn that okay uh, but perhaps would be much better if uh, if you just started with the coach uh, and then the coach would probably tell you okay now you are ready for buying the the power meter I know then you are spending money for both con coach and the power meter but maybe maybe you would be with the coach for just another month and learn how to use the data and then you can do it that's how you can really use the power meter and it will be beneficial for you who should be buying power meters poor triathlonist I know you're spending so much uh, money on the bike you need to be prepared for three different disciplines and the bike will be the most um, expensive one because it should be aero with aero frame aero seat post a good saddle aero wheels and maybe disc wheel in, in the rear different pairs of wheels and so it's expensive i know but uh, you wanna you wanna ride just below your uh, threshold and that's where power meter will shine because uh, when you ride without the power meter be it a wind or just slight slopes slight uphill on the uphills especially we feel as if we were going just slow or light under our FTP or our lactate threshold it's not the same but it's close FTP and lactate threshold uh, but you are going maybe 20 or even 30 percent over it and that's where power meters uh, will 
help you not to bonk, not, not to uh, just feel dead during the, the running. So triathlonist, time trialist for sure. Uh, road cyclist as well with the mountain biking it will be more difficult for you to analyze the power data because you need to look into the normal normalized power but there is also acceleration strength many different uh, abilities you need to train for mountain biking that that's something i would do with the coach okay so i, I really want this uh, episode to be beneficial for you guys if you have any further questions about about power meters how to use those uh, and maybe I could tell you, uh, in your case, uh, Joe, uh, whether, whether you should buy one or not. That's it. If I was to buy, I would go for Duo because uh, it's $300 more, but you've got Duo and then you can go just all out um, analyzing your pedaling mechanics. It's, it's awesome. So Favero Shioma, very good product. Thank you guys from uh, Favero. It, it is my 100% honest opinion about it. That's it. See you in the next episode. Bye bye. Ah. <sighs> guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Remember to join our forum.sigbiker.com where we discuss all the topics, uh, training, service, any issues with the bikes. If you want to share anything with us, join our Facebook group. All the links are below. And if you want to join my patrons, feel free to do so. And now, okay, you might watch just one or two episodes more, but then let's go and ride. Achoo!